I told you earlier, I said, and I pay your name at Thomas for an AD and Como, your name Ayalolo for and so an AD and Como. Now, you'll be saying, I'm going to say, and you one more operation is at the same. A yeah, few hikes here yeah, yeah, experience and you know, how is it impacting on their business? COVID-19 over the period, uh, how has it impacted on their business? The issues to do with the absence of uh, yeah, the buses we regularly saw on our roads from uh, yeah, Metro Mass for and pay and I encourage you to let your thoughts and your views be heard this morning. Robert Yed Sa and Como we say, Oh the Senemia, Minia, Maji and Me na Miss Makai Eddy and Ma. Uh, at the four and a pay. Uh, Mr. Charles Anan Elmenchen, or a head of operations, Ayalulu Transport System, Mr. George Kobia Santi, a head of corporate communications, Metro Mass Transit Limited. One more other comments on a pair, Menomo AD and Como. Auntie, uh, Miss Anan, morning. Mr. Santi, morning. Good, Good morning, morning, brother. Now, and what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, I say now, ED and Como, every no issue and a pay. Uh, in fact, Mr. Anand, Indi and Komana, Nay and Shasi. I do only say, Openi. Ah, Yamiado, Boko. Bibia de Din, Yamiado, Bibia de Din, Pa. I allow a transport, a cousin. Ah, Yamiado, Yaguso, your boy, a home or day, Yaguso, I hear, Servia, mine, and I'm sure, sir, Ghana for a fat I on daily basis. No, I appreciate the effort we are making. Mm. And, and, and even before that, I would like to say good morning to your viewers and um, those listening to us and on uh, Happy FM. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I have a brofune tree and the mobit me a mixing mixing net to say, a frafa, a bit me a conis. Charles. Yes, sir. Mimbi Sasse, I have a little concept, you know. What's the concept behind I have a little? Medasi. I have a little, no, I share a buying. And in Pinufua, a designing concept now. Mm. Uh, it is simple. You per se, you reduce the effect of traffic on our major cities. Okay. And you know, I alone need a concept here. It came out of the Ghana Urban Transport Project, mm. which sought to um, come up with a um, regulatory framework within the transport space mm. to ensure, say, um, between big bus operation and the feeder system, that um, connection mm. in the transport space, you know, all are properly aligned. Okay. So that, for example, if me free adenta, and I say me to be to say buchi, na me anopa me ko ejuma o ministry sir, there should be a very clear bit me afa me free me free. Edi me ako a central holding point. Okay. Na big bus afa me. Edi me ko ministries. Now, me free ministries and so a big bus now for me. Eddie eh, Mabba, that central holding point, you know. Now, me real mafa. Car, Eddie eh, Akofi. Said the Abeya, I do not necessarily have to drive my private vehicle into the city center. Mm. And to know that concept, you know, it will help us reduce the number of vehicles on our roads mm. so that the big buses can transport people in mass into mm. their various uh, locations. And that way, you know, we will reduce the effect of traffic on the road. Is that what we are practicing now? Yes, that is what we are attempting to practice. <laughs> um, attempting to? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, simply because, you see, for you to have such a system in place, no, mm. you need various um, other things, the nodes that connect. Mm. So, for example, you need a certain infrastructure that allows the buses to move freely mm. without obstructions. Mm. You need to have your traffic system properly programmed mm. so, so that um, when the buses are coming, they have a certain priority over the other vehicles. Mm. And then even um, you need another program where people can actually see when a bus arrives and then they can plan their movement. Mm. So some aspects are available, some are not available. Which so aspects are available and which aspects are not available? In fact, if you look at the concept of BRT, we have everything available except the road infrastructure. Except the road infrastructure. infrastructure. And when I talk about the road infrastructure, it's either you are given a dedicated lane for the movement of the buses, mm. or even on the existing lane, you are giving the buses a certain level of priority. Mm. And sometimes, in Uber to me, the contra flow system has solved that problem. And the contra flow is that 
Once again, your traffic is not directional. In the end, you free a dental bar, you say, cars are not a bar, but road is not a dental bar, you're free. So one of the ways government can do is to say that, okay, I'm giving you a contract flow, which means that whilst everybody is stuck in this traffic, the road that is free, I'm giving you one lane to drive contra so that you move faster to the city center. Mm. And you see, when people begin to see that the buses are moving faster, it will cause them to even park their vehicles and join the bus. So why are we not doing that now? Oh, we, I mean, we've, 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 we've gone far with... Um, you see, that concept is not really... And now they're and I'll show you where your traffic intersections in so Tiana. Why in your public education? Why engage stakeholders? Near put a perfect planner. After the Uber for say that perfect plan out the tone and never be done a disaster. So it was in 2016 and uh, I allow you a operationalize it. Anna, yes. Now 2016 to date, is that not enough time? I, I have even noticed, say. More allocated lanes in Nana it was meant for your buses alone to even ply on the company. And I'm only a driver for nature. Yes, and that was the pilot's lanes on the Amasama Nakra corridor. Yeah. But I, I must say that, um, yes, we did a pilot on the Amasama corridor. Mm. But Sisi Anosha Ayalulono is almost everywhere. If we Kasua Ebakra, if we Amasama, if we Sakwana Singh Abakra, if we Dodua Fa Denta Madina Abakra, you free a shaman, if a motorway in a sobacra, in your free tema, if a beach road, if a nungu abacra. In Tisi, I know it is not just on the Amasaman corridor, now your priority lanes. No, Tisi, I know your lolo, baby. Ah, and you know what we've been doing is you need a buy, I engage, and we, we've really advanced. And I must say that I, I am I'm grateful to the president for. Ne, ne, ne personal involvement in Ayalulu. Mm. And I want to make sure to say, whatever we need, you know, now we are getting them. So very soon, you know, once this few months, are, I'm sure within the second quarter of this year, you know, we will begin to implement the contract flow. A bit to Myanmar bus is not priority on the way. And that is when people will begin to see the full effect. So see, I'm in Oka say, Ayalulu is very active on the road. Mm. But we say, because Obia Adrian is say, I alone a BRT, they move faster now. Even what we are doing now, no, people do not still see. But mm. Cecilia Crown, we are more effective than what we, how we were in 2016. Mm. But I'm sure that so when we start the contract flow system now, people will begin to see us more. So very soon. So so, so so I see I alone bus uh, coming from let's say the Adenta stretch, and it's in the same traffic that I am in. Yes. What would motivate me to want to park my car and come and join Ayalolo? I, even now, because of safety concerns, and, you know, Ayalolo is even the most preferred choice, even in the midst of the traffic, because Ayalolo is much safer to drive in than any other vehicle. In what context? I, in, I mean, you can check from the MTTD and accident rates, and you see that whether Ayalolo has any significant accident rate. So the statistics are there to prove what I'm saying. Now, uh, let's come to... But I'm about how Metro Mass, uh, George, I'm about how shortly. <laughs> but my mini, uh, in terms of fleet strength, we uh, have more buses behind here. Um, okay, thank you. So we, we have in total 245 buses. 245. And we have 60 in Kumasi. Uh, we have 10 in Takrade. We have 10 in Cape Coast. We have 5 in Ho. And the rest are in Accra. You started a project with how many buses? Yeah, 245. We started with 245, yes. and we still have 245 on the road. Exa exactly. Interesting. Mm -hmm. How does that happen, considering there's, there's the mentality, the perception to, oh, Ghana, your maintenance coach are uh, uh, very poor, and you haven't lost a single bus at a sea workshop? Okay, so um, in Kumasi, we had four buses that got bent um, somewhere around 2020. Mm. Uh, no, 2021, early 2021. Mm. So those buses got bent. Um, in Accra, we have two buses that are involved in accidents. In Takradi, we don't have any accidents. So we don't have all the 245 on the road? Oh, on, on the road? Yes, oh, no, 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 no. We don't have all the 245. So how many buses do we have operational? In Accra, we have 111 currently operational. In okay. Kumasi, we have the 60 working. In Takradi, we have 10 working. In Cape Coast, we have 10 working. In Ho, we have 5 working. 
Okay. Now, I will try and do the summation. Then I'll find out the ones that are off of the road. In the meantime, I'm going to call George and I'm going to me who are your buses no El Quino so but me who metro mass El Quino so in terms of not intercity but within city. Um in time in home buses. What's happening to Metro Mass Mo buses? Yo, um when I say American chair T for uh Tiano Pay happy. Teach the Metro Mass uh cherish customers. Um it is our kind of area and as I can't say in intercity, you know. Metro Mass, yeah, near Yalolo, we don't run the same kind of operations. Mm. Yeah, you know, we have three different kinds of operations. Mm. Intercity, inter-urban or rural urban, then we have the intra-service operations. Mm. But then you yeah, focus on Casa Intercity. Uh, it's a transit. Mm. But then we still operate the intra-city, you know, but you yeah, near more visible compared to Ayalolo because Ayalolo that is their core mandate. Mm. Uh -huh. Most of the Buses are used to run the intra-city buses. Now those buses that we have the portraits of former heads of states. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But you know, we as in Metro Mass, we are challenged when it comes to our fleet size. Mm -hmm. We started Metro Mass somewhere 2003. Okay. By former president, His Excellency John Okay. 2003, we started the company with 1,024 buses. Mm -hmm. You understand? 1,024 buses. We had a fleet replacement plan that for every maximum six years, the old fleet is supposed to be taken off and then replaced with a new fleet. But unfortunately, on the part of the company, successive administration couldn't follow the plan as it was, you understand. Um, we got some new buses, Tata Ashok, during the Excellency John Ivan Sata Mills time. Mm -hmm. But those buses, you know, looking at the nature of metro mass operations, we started a company with DAF buses. Mm. These are buses that are very strong enough. And metro mass, we, 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 we are mandated to concentrate on areas that the private bus or tra private transport owners do not have interest in going because perhaps the road is not good, it's not economically viable. Mm. But yeah, you know, it's a pro-poor initiative. Mm. President Kofo, in his wisdom, brought up Metro Mass. So, Yemrana Yema Transport is highly affordable for every Ghanaian, especially those living in the hinterlands. It will share your focus no more no the rural communities. It will be because, ah, and that Metro Mass buses, why you think Metro Mass buses, are you saying? We are not only concentrating on Kumasi Accra, Kumasi Takra, they, like the third rules, no. Mm. We are, as a matter of policy, for we are well, nationwide. We are running 386 routes. Okay. 386, 386 routes. 386 routes. With, with how many buses? As we're speaking now, operational buses, we, we, we are uh, getting me um, a route a day now is around 200. 200? Yes. Both an um, initial fleet, 1024. 1024. 1024. Wow. So it tells you that the company is struggling, but 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 we are still doing our best because. What is causing the struggle for the company? Uh -huh. You know, I mentioned the successive fleet replacement system mm. that per the policy for every six years. You know, all over the world, buses after running them for over five years, the operational cost becomes so high. So that is why it is important uh, for maximum six years, you need to take off the old buses and replace them. Mm. In fact, the first MD, who happens to be a white, Hank, mm. that was the plan. It's in Australia, that year, proper savings towards that agenda. Mm. But unfortunately, when NDC took, uh, took power in 2008, he was changed. Mm. Then they brought in uh, Masala Oku. Masala Oku, by the on the time, and also took buses maybe. And to be honest with you, those buses no anti me and shadow may support the company's operations. Mm -hmm. Because not any too robust like they were not Daphne and John Kerry no etienne and then Tessa. And I think they bought about two hundred or so of the, okay. those buses. Then after John Jamani Mahama, former president, and to take you over, you also got a chance to procure buses. And on Uncle Tor. This one high. 
But these Mumbai. are all these are all decisions that are taken with the input of Metro Mass because the government will not just wake up to say, I'm going to buy buses. Metro Mass would have an input in terms of the determination of what to buy and what not to buy. That's, and I'm that is true. You know, anytime we want to go and buy buses, mm -hmm. we do two kinds of assessments. We conduct technical assessment and then we conduct financial assessment. Mm. It depends on the kind of leadership at the time. Mm. For instance, when the white man was living, mm. we had about $30 million. Ah, now I'm going to be about 100 of the dark buses. Mm. Okay? The administration at that time considered that if the same amount can buy as 200 of Tata or Ashoka, why don't you go in for 200? This is the mathematics. If the DAF will be giving us 1,000 a day per bus, and we have 100 of that, it's giving us how many? How much? We have 200 of Tata or Ashok. And the same 200 is also giving us 1,000 Ghana a day. But the difference here is that if the lifespan of the, of the Tata is five years, and then the lifespan of the DAF is 10 years, as a transport company, which one do you go in for? Let's, let's do some technical conversation at this point. So, we could have 30 million, now I remember DAF 100. Now we could have the same 30 million, now I remember Ashok 200. In my ordinary businessman's thinking, I'm hoping that in the five years that the Ashok will be operational, I am making an extra income with the extra 100 buses that I have bought which I can use to replenish my fleet in the five years that the first 200 may go off the sure. road. Me sure. The same is applicable to a year, uh, the 100 DAF, which I would have bought. Maybe its lifespan is, uh, life, lifespan is seven years or eight years. years. So, yeah, sure. By that eighth year, that wear and tear would also have set in for the DAF buses. Mm -hmm. But would I have made the same amount of money as I would have made with the Ashok Leyland? That was, that was the decision taken by the management at that time. What was your input then as, uh, as the beneficiaries in, of... In fact, at that point, if you should act, ask any Metro Mass staff, mm. they will tell you that the decision considered to go in for Tata and Ashok did not help the company. And I must be honest with you. Mm. You know, some of these buses came in and could not even work for like five months, you get it. Uh, Metro Mass staff. I, it's interesting. Know? It's interesting yeah, because yeah. Tata, as Let I me, know as a brand, produces you have very varieties robust. of Tata buses. You have varieties of Tata buses. You know. Again, yeah. again, the two of us can go and buy Toyota Camry. Mm. It depends on how you use it. It depends on how you so use you it. You it need it to depends know. on the servicing culture as well, mm. and then the contractual agreement you would have gone in in terms of maintaining those vehicles. Yeah, and you need to also consider the nature of your operations. Mm. You get it. We st you know, as we speak now, mm. Uber Metro Massa, these DAF buses are a 17 years, a 18 years. Those are the buses are a cushion company to this stage. Mm. And thankfully enough, 2018, and our uh, President Akufuado, only in sector transport minister, in sector minister, a year, a year, Intercity coaches, 100. Brand bearing? Um, uh, Daewoo. Daewoo. Yeah, Daewoo. In fact, all my STC, the same buses, maybe. Mm. And, and no, now, it's a, a no bus system, no more Metro Mass or production plan, man, and it will be difficult to see a Tata bus or Ashok bus uh, is still on road. Meanwhile, we have DAF bus uh, since 2003 to date. It's still in the system. Over who be number cry you, it be a L, it be a 209, but it's, it's, it's in the system. You get it. Mo maintenance culture for my vehicles at the same. My brother, let me be very honest with you. You know, Metro Mass, as we speak, there's no transport company here in Ghana or what state of the art facility or what, or what, or what workshop department are structured as in Metro Mass. And I can throw a challenge for you. All over our depot, we have 16 depots or branches. Every branch has got a technical department, a workshop. Every branch, there's a workshop there. Mm. You see, it, it's not a question. Say, your yeah, maintenance coach, we cannot be running buses that are over 18 years. I am telling you that we still have buses. Uh, we got them 2003 that are still running on our roofs. Mm. 
And then when you consider the nature of Metro Mass's operations, well, trust me, you appreciate management, our efforts there. My main DVAT Kakra and and it will be applicable to a only child in more operational charges in terms of FESA, more charge more customers are more more utilizing more facilities as much as you are both indicated that you are a poor poor sure. uh, entity uh, Ghana for whom does it enable you to be sustainable enough to operate i really love this question i think uh, metro must be a major challenge back here no? hmm. you know initially the concept itself metro mass was not meant for profit making mm. you understand when you read about the concept behind the establishment of metro mass the company was supposed to exist break even create employment and make tra mass transport affordable for everybody did you even break even we do because you break even, even, with the, even with the 200 buses we are running now our total work strength staff strength it's around 2,800 to almost 3,000. And uh, IGF, Metro Mass staff will be 100% IGF. 100%. Under COVID, our companies, big giant companies are struggling to survive. Metro Mass did not lay down a single staff. I'm telling you. Mm. And, and we are being paid through internally generated fund. Back to the question you asked. So you pay your salaries? You pay our salaries. Full, no salaries. salaries. Full salaries. Full salaries. Full salary. Because I'm thinking about it. If you start a journey with 1,024 buses. At that time, we had a staff strength of about 3,500. Good. And let's say you were making profit of, let's say, 30,000. Let's say, at the end of the day, you're making 30,000. It is these 1,024 buses here and a mile opportunity sure. to reach that 30,000. Sure. And so if you tell me, sir, with 200, you're able to break even... It, so it, tells you that, it tells you that the sector itself is very viable. What you are saying? Because that time, you know, we we're, were making enough, so we were having surplus. That's why the white man was able to make savings to mm. the tune of like $30 million. He had a very a special account for fleet replacement. Mm. That account was mm. untouchable. It was only meant for buying new buses. You asked the question that... Because Metro Mars is a pro poor initiative, mm. is it reflecting in our operation? Metro Mars, by policy, you're in first, are you 15 to 25 percent cheaper compared to transport company B.O. Mm. And it's a matter of policy. It's any time you have to say, and to two, you to three For instance, in the Ufriaka, Eco Kumasi, we charge as high as 70 cities. Air conditioning bus. Mm -hmm. Metro mass currently we are taking 35 cities. Air conditioned. Air conditioned. Daiwu, air conditioned. TV BBA mm. And also another thing a, a cripple company in Kakra. Because we are not allowed to compete competitively. You understand? Mm. As we speak now, we buy fuel on the same fuel market at the same fuel market price. Metro mass those time at two on it year two just ask any other bus, it's your two. Your year buses, your top buses, near any year, unless said there will be a special engagement. I mean, you remember your waiver, no? It's here. Dimorachi, it's here. You get it. It's a company, you know. You know, when President Kufo started the company, the idea was that company now, through IGF, every year 50% of staff salary, Nanka subsidy from the central government, Abekanho. But that didn't happen. Metro Mass, it's here, full staff salary, 100%. You understand? Mm. And now, uh, it's uh, say the original initial plan, and it's, uh, it's supposed to be uh, a big creative opportunity and a job opportunity for the youth. You know. COVID by any crown at a point in time, you know, operations, nobody here, some way, but we couldn't lay down anybody. The government will not even allow that. The ministry will not allow that. It, you know, it is about time uh, I was uh, as a man, you pay attention to this company. Mm. What you say? Because if Metro Mass should even get 500 new buses now, trust me, Metro Mass can employ no less than 1,500 Ghanaian youth. We have, we have the systems there. We have the routes. We are running to 386 routes nationwide. But because of lack of our buses in Tino, uh, we are not able to put buses on all the 386 routes. Mm. 
what you say. Mm. Meanwhile, these are roots here in traditional roots. Aside, say here, charge lesser mm. between 15 to 25 percent. Another social intervention is how man and say the agent, anybody who is beyond the age of 60 years, uh, or yet registered with the gender ministry, our chrome card, or by me through months, which have 50 percent of the fare. We pass students in school uniform for free. We pass students in school uniform for free. And when you look at our budget, any amount of money it costs us special service no more. It's you know, in effect, you no know, metro mass uh because we are challenged now you know, all these social interventions uh, the man society, you know, we are not doing it. We continue to be doing that. But thankfully enough, under his excellency Nana the Danko Akufuado, our board, the ministry the presidency, Ministry of Finance, and you were Metro Man, so just like my brother from my Aluru rightly mentioned. Mm. Uh, there are a lot of plans. Even um, you're in relationship with the Dutch government at some point, you no, know, ever, ever say uh, under the past administration, but in a, under the leadership of Abeta Dubuahin, MD, and the current executive, uh, um, they've been able to revive that relationship. And there's a new arrangement with DAF. I heard the Dutch government, in the next five years, all things being equal, they are going to be giving the company 500 new buses, which are DAF buses, original DAF buses. Mm -hmm. And for every year, the plan is that they will be giving us 100 of such buses. Mm -hmm. It's not thing being equal. From this year up to the next five years, we are hoping to have about 500 DAF buses. Right. And the company now moves internally. We are making arrangements with the Ministry of Transport, on mm -hmm. for SCM. Any board, a year arrangement, uh, we want to procure about 200 intercity coaches. Ah, uh, 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 arrangement in a corner. Right. It's in the metro mass, we are working towards changing the face of metro mass. Well, a thought just ran through my mind. I'll come back to that thought about you know the Ashok and the Leyland and all, because I'm thinking about some of the buses I see at Kanishi. Most of these are Ashok Leyland buses, and they are still operational. <laughs> Ashok. Yes, some of the buses you see, uh, they have a, a name for them. Uh, the, the space buses. The space buses. He's talking about the space buses. Uh, uh, metro mass buses. No, no, no they're no, not no, metro no, mass. No, the, 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 but the, but the I'll typical, come to that point. Yeah. Yeah. Initially, when you started your operations, you had an automated system. Yes. Is it still automated? Okay, thank you. So the automated system suffered a little challenge then, but now we've been able to revive it that we are piloting the system again in the other institutions we are running. So for example, if you go to Ho, for example, we are fully on a pilot on the new ticketing system we are running. If you go to the University of Cape Coast campus, mm. we are also piloting the new ticketing system we are running. And we, we hope that by the end of this month, that is March, uh, the pilot would have been over so that we deploy it fully. Because well, for what was the challenge with the previous system, the automated system? No, what so, the so, so what happened is that it came with the buses mm. and it was, um, it was, it was the, the technology and the manufacturers. The transfer of knowledge was not properly, that, that was not properly closed. So in handling the system, we, we had a few challenges. And that was even one of the reasons why the system had to shut down somewhere in 2018. Because we realized that sometimes when you do the configuration, the system was charging passengers very low fares. The mm. handling was not done well. Mm. So we, we worked with the Ministry of Communication, Honorable Eslaosu, uh, NITA, and some other local uh, technology solution providers. And now we have a homegrown solution that we are piloting. Mm. And we believe that that is a more uh, f uh, much better way of handling the e-ticketing than what we previously had. So very soon it will be fully rolled out. We'll, we'll go for a breather shortly, but briefly, uh, on the question about the competitiveness of your fares you charge, do you suffer the same situation as that of Metro Mars? Yes, please. We, we've always charged lower than the but normal. But what percentage? Uh, it's about 15% lower than the normal trotro fares. Mm. And, and we've had to do that because, you know, we are um, a fully uh, owned government entity and we also have to align ourselves with the plans of the government. And if the government wants to provide um, mass transportation to everybody and then it has to come at a bit cheaper price so that it does not put pressure on people's pockets. So we've always done 15% less. But that has, for us, that has really affected us because in the world over, uh, public transport, and especially when you talk about 
a BRT concept. Mm. BRT concept is always funded by the government because it is the expectation that is most important mm. that you move people in mass, you move in a certain time so people can plan their journey. And when you do that, sometimes you would have a trip where you have only five people on the bus and you still have to meet the trip. So in that case, then the question is who fund for the passengers you couldn't pick because you needed to move at a certain time. Mm. So uh, we, in a way, always require subsidy from government to be able to be very, very efficient in delivering the BRT that we, we are set out to deliver. We are taking a short breather. Yebabaka, Yebetwa, and Commander Sir Charles, I'll mention Sansuna Georgia, I'll mention Metro Mass, Ayalulu, IED, and Komo Effa, Mass Transportation, Ewo Omae Ganamo. Stay with us, we'll be right back. And you welcome back to the show. We do have some 24 more minutes before the conversation comes to an end. But there's another conversation uh, scheduled for the next 10 minutes that uh, we'll be having. And that has to do with the educational sector. And, uh, you know, the fact that this match in Eddie I am going to make a cup of food. The Metro match for a cup of food. Any I look for a cup of food. And the Ebedim Komo Afa, a year, Sam Komo, shortly. But my final area I want us to touch on. You've already admitted that there is a problem with your pricing when it comes to fares. You know? The coalition of transport operators, Omar will say more after negotiations with the government, have agreed to a 15% increment. And are you also going to stay where you are? And I say, I'm going to 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 say, In fact, to be honest with you, yeah. Metro Mass, we cannot stay at where we are. Okay. A you cannot even run the company. Mm. Company in about a bit collapse. Mm. So as we speak now, management and AA meeting. Okay. The traffic operations department has made some proposals. Because about Metro Mass, you need to be a friend of prison. Mm. They do the research for us and uh, intelligence and information you know, and they gather the data. Mm. We have done all that. Now yeah, you are, you are all the fares from the various transport operators. Mm. Because so we are always guided by the fifteen percent to twenty five percent mm. policy in Tino. Yeah. Anytime we intend to increase our fares a bit, we always have to have knowledge about the market charges with respect to the other competitors. Mm. It, you know, we have gathered that data. Management is meeting today and then a decision will be considered. But I can assure you definitely we are going to adjust our fares a bit up. But it's not going to be too high because Metro Mass and Ankasano, um, yeah, yeah, people centered, mm. yeah, you know, your core a year affordability, and we don't intend to move away from that, even in our current challenges. We try to be reliable, we try to be safe, we try to be affordable. Mm. And, you know, uh, our, our cherished customers should be expecting, they should expect an increment mm. but there's not going to be something a uh, bear boom and they also need to bear with us because under the current situation we are in hmm. so upper cemetery room has 80 me uh, keep in business there uh, then there's no way we can continue to be in business with the current charges we are taking so there's going to be an adjustment but it will depend on the decision that management will consider today mm. but i can assure the public that there will be a slight change of uh, is, is this same with Ayalulu? Uh, oh. Yenso, Yenso, sir. Yenso, uh, and, and as you say, <laughs> we, we, we plan this. <laughs> Yenso, and Navy, Yenso, any chief executive, Mr. Samson Jamra, Yenena Asia, we are finalizing on the implementation of the new fares. No? Also, uh, around the same percentage are uh, buying Edemine. We wouldn't want to deviate from that. Yenso, yes, you share and then you finalize on your prices. Uh, I'm sure, sir, Eko Enima up to next week, Tuesday, because Monday holiday. Mm. Up to next week, Tuesday, no. Yes, we are being implementing a new fares because it's also important. Say we have to adjust the fares to also meet our um, operational uh, expenditure. Mm -hmm. at, at this point, we are only breaking even, and if we do not also work hard to manage the fare system properly, then the company will suffer. So it's also important that we, we increase. And next week, Tuesday, the new prices will be implemented. Well. I, I have heard, you know, operators of uh, transport make the case for lubricants, our more at all, spare parts, our more at all, and based upon that, they thought 30% uh, would have sufficed for them. 
considering few or any and who and corner bar. And so, who can come on a 15% and not be bringing engine to move because it doesn't meet their operational yeah. costs. Yeah. And the, are we expecting that Metro Mass is going to play around the figure with 15% at the back of their minds and uh, spare part and lubricant and co, or they are playing around with the 30% in mind? How, yeah. how, how, how are you, you see, the with truth it? of the matter is that you know, more often people are so focused on fuel changing fuel prices, mm -hmm. but there are other variables, mm. spare parts. Virtually almost every variable or component of the bus, a border cost room, tasks, brick pass, a border cost room. And you know, um, and I answer Metro Mass, no, your system is such that. And your fuel, we don't only change price of and our charges based on changes in fuel prices. No, mm. for the past by year, you need a year or more. You're in two, you're a fable crowd. Moto fuel, it's a fuel. We buy fuel, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I buy and then we buy at the same market. market, market price. Price. I, thought, I thought, you know, with government staking, well, um, there would have been some arrangements with them there so is that no, there is no subsidy brother, is anywhere. The people, is it, um, the same when I get the opportunity like this, I try to educate the people. Mm. A lot of people doesn't even know how Metro Mass operates. And go for me free say Metro Mass and then I buy the Chia Staff car, I buy more food free, I buy uh, yes, government is doing it part. But trust me, company no one, you're too full. Time at two on your two. Your top bus is near you to your home car. Government is just a majority shareholder. And today, by rule, now government to play on my problem. Copy the buy. I must be very honest. Ah, uh, companies in Nigeria will be a much Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Special proposal through the ministry. You need COVID in few hours. You need COVID in few hours. You in fact on a normal day. I'm going to be talking about some money. Not what it is. Or do you see that back? Yes, it is. You in fact on ten chain. Day to day running and what about the government? Um, recently say. Yeah, copy with, with uh, our parliament. Mm. We got, I, I forgot the figure, mm. but parliament, Emma in Weber, and a cabia, a dinner, a domicigui, a bus is Viana, a banana, a intino, a bandy play in the room. But I remember to say, we expect to receive more because okay, you man, I and unless uh, they will change some of the policies, no one will allow Metro Mans to compete effectively in our market. So that by competing effectively, what I mean is that we should be allowed to charge competitive fares. Mm. Because if we have, we have competitors taking 60, 70 cities, using the same kind of air-conditioned buses from Accra to Kumase, and we are taking 35 cities, you cannot compete. You cannot compete. And uh, because I uh, hear the uh, former institution sector, you know, staff, staff salaries near the crowd, uh, uh, more. Metro man says here, who says here, a private person be business out. Mm. When you sure say staff are who in Akron and Kobe you show, but because uh, the plan is to create job opportunity for the Ghanaian youth, the plan is to serve especially those in the hinterlands near the Nintino. At the expense of Yankasa, near maybe Anka ordinary in Kentimina, we are compelled to do. Root be bro, in terms of Yankasa, you know, precious, which means a route to any viable, but you cannot withdraw the bus there. Because in Crawford, they need your service. They are Ghanaians. A mm. client, maybe other private transport work on us on the bus, but first because a client, you know, yeah. we are compelled to go there. It, at all times, we need to have government support to be able to run the business. And that is a, a fact. And, and for, for, uh, for a state agency like us and Metro Mass, you know, we will always need government support because mm. it is not always about profit. It's also about social intervention. It's mm. also about uh, providing service. But you see, in our space, all over the world, transport is regulated. Except that over here, the regulatory regime to monitor the transport activities is you not know, strong. Mm. Because they are stronger and ca Operator and to make us or no pay a certain percentage yeah. increase. It will always come through the regulatory regime, which government have a stake in it. Because in a deregulated de environment no, and in a competitive no, environment. No, no, where no, 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 mm -hmm. no. When I say the space is regulated, uh, mm -hmm. even the type of vehicle you put on the road has to be approved. You see, if you put certain fundamentals in place, even what they call operational costs can be reduced. It's, 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 it's all over the world. That's how it is. So mm. once the space is not regulated, no, that is why people can call out their own prices. But 
of course, without that, um, 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 increase in prices are fair. But it always has to come within a certain regime. It doesn't also burden the... The, the the person using the I, I wish I wish I had more time to go on this tangent with you <laughs> because uh, I hold a contrary position on that okay. that you know you can't tell me so the taxes are too petroleum products so I would use a bonus run aircraft no I can so I'm supposed to operate within a certain space mm -hmm. in terms of my ability to increase when the spare parts are going because when they are bringing the spare parts you are collecting your yeah. duty okay maybe uh, we can another, have we, another we another can point, have sir. a different uh, another uh, education point, another point yeah, another, another point uh, yes so uh, yeah the public needs to know but because when a metro mass maybe i know tie keke your packet bus my brother we operate through the ppa process mm. managing director of metro mass cannot just wake up say my bus we here tie my photo time it has to pass through procurement process mm. A private business person or running the buses at any point in time but you say because we are regulated we are under the pp agreement you know we buy in bulk and we always follow the bureaucratic system you know. it me make any time i try to advocate say uh, uh, companies like ayalolo metro mass if possible mm -hmm. they need to take us out of that I know, I know. Uh, oh, send the send the planning because what are the system? And we are working actually, towards that. You know, so every six months behind it, your tires get worn out. It, it doesn't so always no, work it doesn't like always that. Work so like that. Sometimes you have planned for it. No, sometimes there are unforeseen circumstances, circumstances that yeah. can throw your entire plan. plan of you have a stock of tires. It, it doesn't always work like that, my brother. It, anyway, it doesn't always. Work I, like I would that. want to extend an invitation to you. Okay. So, when you're so tight and you may between eight and nine. Mumbani entrance in India, I'm coming. So you're in China, it's your work. You're finished. So move it to your bar. Fine. Me open. Me in India, I'm coming. Because you see, there are issues that Ghanaians must understand. Yeah. Exactly. And so we have certain perceptions at the back of our minds, which may not be so. And it will, it will take the telling of the story for Ghanaians to get your story. Exactly. To, to be frank with you, this year, you know, Ayalolo was quiet a bit because mm. we were trying to reorganize the business. We've gotten to a point where this year. We want to come out fully to educate the public about the meaning of Ayalolo and what it stands for and what we can do together. That is the stakeholders, mm. us and the public, what we can do together to make public transport as easy as possible, as flexible, as cheaper, mm. as anything as possible in this country. So we are open for such invitations. Well, yeah. immediately after the show, we see my time now soon. Viewers, yes. So metro mass continues to be the safest means of transport. And I alolo. That one, it's metro mass. I alolo. The records are there. We are the safest. Well, we'll go and see the MTTD and the National Road Safety Authority for the data and analyze them. But I'm grateful, George. I'm grateful, Charles, that you join me this morning live on the Happy Morning Show.